Bullets Over Broadway is the 23rd film written and directed by Woody Allen. Released in 1994, it was a roaring critical and commercial success, playing to all of Allen's strengths. But how well do you know it? Well, here's 10 things about Bullets Over Broadway. Can I get you? Two martinis, please. Very dry. How do you know what I drank? Oh, you want one too? Three. Three martinis. Uh, I can't... Bullets is one of Alan's few co-writes. He co-wrote the film with Doug McGrath, who was a friend and a former Saturday Night Live writer. McGrath would also appear in several Alan films in cameos. This film was the first as part of a new deal with Sweetland Films. The company was set up by another friend of Alan's, Gene Dumanian, who had once been a showrunner on Saturday Night Live. Sweetland needed distribution, and they went with Miramax, the acclaimed indie distributor run by Harvey and Bob Weinstein. Those guys reinvented American independent cinema and were on a high having recently released Pulp Fiction and Clarks. The film's title of Bullets Over Broadway actually comes from the name of a Sid Caesar sketch from the 1950s. Alan was also once a writer for Sid and actually called him to ask for permission to use the name. Tragedy. <laughs> I'll say, but I got some ideas how we can goose it up. Ideas? Mm -hmm. I go to the movies all the time. I got a million clever ideas. You burn it down, Cheech! Burn it down, I said! Working with Alan for the fifth and so far final time was Diane Wiest. She was hesitant to take the role of Helen Sinclair, who is unlike her usual characters. She found that the character got funnier the more she lowered her voice, especially with her memorable catchphrase. No, don't speak. Don't speak. Don't speak. No, silence. Silence. Don't speak. The film also stars Chaz Palminteri, who had just become a huge star on the back of A Bronx Tale, which he wrote the screenplay. Alan actually cast him before that film came out, having seen it early. Shut up! You shut up! You're lucky you're Nick's girl. You're lucky you're an idiot. Another of the film's gangsters was played by Tony Sirico. Sirico would work with Alan six more times at least and match Diane Keaton's record of working with Alan. He would of course find much more fame in The Sopranos. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your wigs and keys. It's time to start passing out Academy Awards. Bullets Over Broadway was nominated for a huge seven Academy Awards, but only managed to win one. Diane Wiest won for Best Supporting Actress. It was the second time she had won the award, previously for working with Alan again on Hannah and Her Sisters. Although this time I need glasses. <laughs> One of those nominations went to Santo Loclasto, Alan's longtime production designer who made all the period sets. One of Alan's longest serving collaborators, they have worked together on over 30 projects on and off screen for almost 40 years. And finally, in 2014, Bullets Over Broadway finally hit Broadway. Alan turned the film into a stage musical with songs from the jazz era. The big budget production starred Zach Braff, but it closed in less than one year. And that's 10 things about Bullets Over Broadway. 
find out more about this film and Alan's other films in our book, The Woody Allen Watcher's Guide, out now on Kindle and iBooks. Go to WoodyAllenPages.com for more news and find us on all your social media. And follow this YouTube channel for more videos. You're confusing sex and love. No, for me, love is very deep. Sex only has to go a few inches. You know, you're, you're, you're all missing... Yeah.